Good, good afternoon. For the next part of the Melodian Restoration. All going well. Uh, I've done the mechanics, I've done the keyboard, refaced the palettes, sorted out the action, fixed the bellows, tidied up the appearance. Haven't put any bellows straps on yet, so I've just covered the holes with tape so it doesn't any air get, get out. And I haven't put any shoulder straps on. Uh, but it's all sounding good, the compression is good. If I hold it like this, the bed is very slowly moving down and that's telling you that the compression is good it's not losing air uh, through the bellows or the ends I, i've even been practicing a little tune i don't know if it'll work but i'll just give it a little go see if i can get this going <laughs> It's not uh, turning great because it's got the old reeds and the old valves and the old wax. I haven't done anything to the reeds yet. But what I'm gonna do now is take the reeds out and I'm gonna replace them with brand new reeds. Now the brand new reeds look like this. If I just bring the camera over a minute. Angle it down. There we are. Now here, I bought some new reeds. Now these reeds are in the key of G and D. So the ones in the melodeon are C, C sharp. So I'm gonna change the key completely. The new reeds, uh, which I bought, so they haven't got any of the valves on them. They're just as they are. And they're, they're pretty much tuned, I think. But when I put them into the reed blocks, then I can check the exact tuning. But I think they're gonna be pretty good, but they will obviously need some adjustments once they're in. So those are the new reeds. I'm gonna leave those for a minute. And let's go back to here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the accordion apart and have a look at the reeds. So take the pins out. Let's have a look at them out. Make sure I put them in the right place. So I'm just going to take off the treble side because I'm going to do the treble side reeds to start with. Pins out, and then, as before, the melodeon can come apart. So I put the bass end over there. Let's just tip that down a little tiny bit. There. Right. So there we are. Will you? Keyboard. And then here, I've got the reed blocks. Now the reed blocks correspond to the buttons. Now, one row of buttons has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven buttons, and the inner one's got one, two, three, four, five, ten. And if you look on the on the back here, one set of reeds has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the, the reed blocks are corresponding to the rows of the buttons. So I'm going to start off with the outer row of buttons, which is 11 buttons. Um, and I'm going to put this into uh, the key of D. Just check. Yeah, so I'm going to put that into the key of D rather than being C. So what I'm going to do is take out the reed block corresponding to the outer row. So the one with 11, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that one there. Just undo the little clamp and take out the reed block. Now before I take it out, what I'm going to do is just put a little mark on the reed block, just so that I'm just. No, that's what I'll take it out. Right, but I should be able to count them anyway, so it doesn't really matter much. So yeah, I'll take the reed block out. So I'm going to put this aside for a minute. And that's the reed block. Now, these reeds I'm going to take out. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them again, but I'm going to replace them with. There, the new ones. 
So these are all going to come out uh, and then uh, I'm going to put the new ones in. Now the new reeds, I'm going to bring them over here, they're The new reads, oh, there's two sets. So you've got two lines of 11. And on the read block, you've got two lines of 11. And the reason you've got two sets is that for when you play the accordion, or the melodeon, um, this has got a two voice, which means that for each note, so I'm gonna blow into this for a minute. For each note, there's another note which plays alongside it, which gives you a kind of vibrato. So the other one would be, so there's two notes on either side. So one, I say one there and one there, and they play together and you get a tremolo effect. So you go. If you can hear one sounds lower than the other, so they're tuned slightly differently to each other to give you the kind of vibrato tremolo. So it's a two roid, two voice melodian. Um, so what we've got here is two rows of 11 reed plates, but one set is tuned slightly higher than the other. So when you put them together onto the reed block, you get the tremolo effect. Now the important thing is to make sure that you know which set of reeds goes on what, what side of the reed block. So one's going to be slightly lower than the other. So you don't normally, you shouldn't normally blow through these because there's moisture in the air, but I'm not going to be probably using these reeds, I don't think, and I'm just going to do it once or twice just to get a feel. So I'm going to work out which side of the reed block is the higher sounding reed. So let's have a little go. That's that one. So the second one was lower. So this one was a bit higher. So I'm going to put a little H on that side and a little L on that side. So. Yep. So that's going to be the higher sounding reeds and that's going to be the lower sounding reeds. Brilliant. But the other thing is it's diatonic. So that means if you blow, you get one note. If you suck, you get a different notes. You get two notes, diatonic, two tones, if you like. So if I blow one and suck it, so if you blow and suck, there's two notes. So when you're pushing and pulling on the bellows, you get one note when you're pushing and a different note when you're pulling. Now when you play an accordion, a standard piano accordion, each note is the same whether you're pushing and pulling the bellows, but on a, a diatonic accordion or a melodeon, on the push and pull, you get a different note. Now, to get that to happen, the reeds, so the reeds that you put in, just take that one. There's a reed on the top side, you turn it over, there's another reed. But these reeds are tuned on each side to different pitches, so they're not the same. In a piano accordion, when the notes are the same both ways, both of these reeds, that one there and the one on the other side, will be exactly the same note. On a diatonic accordion or a melodeon, each side of the reed plate will give you a different note. Now this is interesting and also tricky because when you put the reeds in, you have to put them in the right way up because you want to be able to know that when you push or pull, you get a certain note. If you put them in upside down or perhaps one or two of them upside down, when you're playing it, you'll be completely confused because you're thinking that should be that note and actually it's when I, when I push and it's actually a different note when I push. So it's really, really important when you put the reeds in, you put them in the right way up so that you know what note you're going to be getting on a push and on the pull. So I've done some careful checking and I've got a little chart here that I got with the reeds and it tells me what notes I'm getting on a push and what notes I'm getting on the pull. And it's telling me that, for example, on this D row, uh, for example, uh, my first note so look, at the end is a G sharp on the push. Okay, and I know that my G sharp, I've just checked, is this one here. And so the push read is the read you can see facing you as you're looking at the read book. 
the pull reed is the one that's actually inside the reed block which you can't see so the reed that you can see is the push reed so that means i now know that when i put the reeds in the i know which one which way up the reeds go and as luck would have it on these reeds on one side you've got a diagonal line scratched in the corner and that diagonal line is corresponding to the push reeds which are on the outside so when i put the reeds into the reed block as long as i've got the diagonal line on the outside so i can see the diagonal line i know that i've got the push reeds in the right place on the reed block i hope that makes sense okay so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to take these reeds out carefully label them uh, and clean up the reed block before i can ever start putting in the new reeds so i'm going to stop this for a second and i'll back again so i'm going, now I'm going to start taking out the reeds from the reed block so i've got my little label here c i'm taking out a c row and it's the higher sounding notes of the of the pair or sets of reeds so what i've got to do now is take out the pins and the reed plates now to get the pins out what i'm going to do is just get some pliers so i'm taking out the higher the higher row get some pliers just take these pins They're not coming out with pliers, so I might actually use my Swiss Army knife and get it out. Get the Swiss Army knife. Now oh, they're just coming out nice and easy. So, and then with my blade, my trusty Swiss Army knife, I'm going to very carefully ease these reeds out. Now, the the wax is really hard and brittle you see it's just flaking off and that time that wax has been there for ages so putting in new wax will give a much better seal on the reeds and give a much better sound so the reeds will resonate better on the reed box so these are really have been here for quite a while before i've taken them out i've numbered each reed one two eleven so when i if i ever put them back in again or put them in a different accordion i know exactly which reed is going at which point on the reed block so Let's get all these out. So I'll come back when I've taken them all out. So I've taken all the reeds out and I've backed them up with a label. So I know which key they're in and they're all numbered. So I'm gonna put them just in a little box and put that out of the way so nothing gets muddled up and just keep them safe. And now I'm left with a reed block with lots of old wax on it. And it's kind of hard old wax. And I've got a little tool that I use for getting this wax off. And it's this, so it's such an old kitchen knife uh, it's been cut off and it's been filed to a sharp edge so i've made it into a bit of a chisel i suppose i was using this for my bike mechanics to get off um crane races on forks a yeah, bearing race but i found that it's actually really good for getting off wax off accordion reed blocks so what you can do is you can just you can use that to very carefully chisel off the wax without digging into the wood so what the careful thing is one thing is you're not digging into the wood you're just taking the as much of the wax off now i also use my swiss army knife do a little bit of shaving and i also use sandpaper to get a really nice finish so that the reed blocks are really clean so i'm going to go around the reed block i'm going to clean off all of the wax uh, first with a little blade and then sandpaper it and make it really clean and tidy and I'll show you what it looks like when I've done it. Okay. So I've cleaned up all the wax. All off nicely. Giving it a nice little sand. All looking good. Um, so what I'm going to do next is do exactly the same thing for the other row and the other row is going to come off in the same way i'm going to bag them up number them up bag them up and label them up before putting them away in case i use them again and so i let with both sides of the reed block nice and clean and ready 
for the new reads. So that's my next bit. Okay, here we are. So the read block is now nice and clean, all nice and sanded. It's actually in really good condition for such an old instrument. So I'm really pleased with that. So that's going to now be ready to have new reeds put in. So the reeds have to be valved and then waxed in. So that's going to be my next video. So this video is going to stop here. And then uh, on the next video, I'm going to show you how you devolve the reeds and to wax them into the reed block. So this is, this is where this one stops for now. And um, quite pleasing really, because I haven't, the reason I'm doing this video is, is, is kind of like doing it. And also it's nice to show that you can do something like restoring a melodeon uh, using simple equipment on a kitchen table. Uh, you know, I've used glues, just glue you can get from a hardware shop, Swiss Army knife, old kitchen knife, pair of pliers, uh, heavy books, heavy weights. Not much more than that, really. Um, so quite simple tools that you use properly can, can get you a good result. So that is just nice to show that it's quite a basic set of tools. You need to do quite a nice job on a Melodian. So that, uh, going quite well. Uh, so the next video I'm going to get the the reeds, the brand new reeds waxed, um, valved, put some valves onto them and then wax them in. Um, and once they're waxed in then I can check the tuning of the reeds. Now this is where I have to get well, especially a bit of a specialist bit of equipment out. I've got a tuning bellows. So it's an old pair of bellows with a lever on it that I can put the reed black block onto this old set of bellows and push the air through the reed block and check check the tones of the reeds. So that's a, the first time really that I get something a bit more specialist out uh, rather than just having your ordin ordinary kind of tools. So I'll finish this video here. So this is all ready for the next video which is putting the reeds onto the reed block.